Hey, what's up YouTube? Just uh, wanted to do a quick vlog, quick little update about what's been going on with me uh, since I've last put up YouTube videos. <laughs> so, um, it has been a minute um, since I've uploaded a video. Um, to be quite honest, I was actually thinking about just uh, giving up on the whole YouTube thing. Um, you know, I really didn't get into this to be monetized or make any money off of it. You know, um, pretty much just what I wanted to do was uh, basically just to tell my story, you know, um, about what my life is like and stuff like that. Um, over the last, sorry, I'm trying to give these horses some, some uh, water. Um, you know, just some of the changes that have uh, happened in my life over the last year and a half, two years or so. Um, just talk about that and stuff like that. This little guy's going to try to follow me in here. So, um, kind of don't know where to start, but... Uh, as far as weight loss and health and all that other stuff goes, I'm down, oh, roughly 50 pounds or so. Um, initially, I started at 235. Now I'm hanging, hanging out in about the 185 range. I did get down to, I think, about 170. I'll have to go and, and check my app, but then I've, I've put... Well, no, no, no. I didn't get down to 170. I got down to about 175. And um, I didn't... Uh, I got back up after that. So, uh, But I will say what I have put back on has been lean mass. I mean, my abs are starting to show and stuff like that. So I'm really not complaining about the number on my scale coming back up. So anyway, I'm about to feed these guys some oats. They get uh, fresh rolled oats here in the morning just because. And this is going to be awkward holding the camera or holding my phone and doing that as well. So is kind of their morning routine until they all figure out that each of them has their own bowl. I feed them the same amount. I don't segregate them just yet as far as feeding them goes. But they're looking pretty good. Poor Toby over here is getting sunburned. Rocco's been doing pretty good. I'll leave him alone while he's eating. So, uh, but yeah, as far as weight loss goes and all that, I'm still doing keto. I have also started doing um, intermittent fasting to where I, I go 16 hours without eating. A big reason why I do that is because um, with anything else, it's easy to kind of overeat, especially for me. So what I want to get in the habit of is not eating when I'm, I'm not hungry. You know, I, I grew up eating friggin' three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so sometimes I feel obligated to make sure that I eat bre uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner when I'm not even hungry. So at least by intermittent fasting, uh, not every day, I do it most days, it, 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 gives me, um, it gives me a chance to not eat and start to kind of condition myself to not eat all the time. So uh, yesterday... Um, I didn't have anything until uh, late last night, or I didn't, or I had my last meal last night about nine o'clock. So sixteen hours from that is about noon. So nowadays that hasn't that that's not a long time for me to go without eating. Uh, as a matter of fact, it just gives me a chance to knock out a lot of chores and stuff around here, around the house, and then by the time I get finished with everything, it's noon. I can go ahead and eat. Um, have I noticed any changes from that? Uh, maybe. So anyway, I'm going to switch gears here real quick. But um, out here in my chicken coop, 
So I integrated back in the spring whenever I bought my um, my uh, meat birds. I also bought 12 heritage breeds and I had them in this separate coop over here. And last week I built this, I built this gate and now they have access to uh, both runs. The uh, transition was pretty smooth. Um, these cinnamon queens I had here, they did kind of go back and forth for a bit, but now they're kind of together and all that. But I, I just basically picked out um, two of each of what they had there at the uh, feed store. So um, I think this one here is a Jersey Giant. That's a Jersey Giant. The little, the stripe on the back is a barred rock. Um, this dark one over here is a black sex link. That's a Rhode Island red. And this one here is an Americana. And I've got the other Americana. These gold ones are uh, Buff Orpingtons. And this one back here is trying to peck me. So these ones haven't begun laying just yet as far as I know. Um, I don't think that they will probably until either late this fall um, and it'll probably take off in the spring but I am planning on doing another batch of meat birds and I'll probably get maybe another half dozen chicks uh, to kind of round out my flock I'm checking to s see how many eggs I got over there and so yeah I've got eggs I need to go pick them um, I do need to clean this coop out um, also have to watch out for snakes in here too. So I'm actually gonna probably cut this off so I can get these guys some feed and make sure they've got water and all that. Um, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, I had to finish knocking out my chores. Um, I bought new horse or oats uh, and chicken feed earlier this week. I uh, ran out yesterday, so I had new bags to break open and scoops to move around and things like that. So that was a two-handed two -handed job. So anyway, just uh, going back to the updates. Uh, it's been pretty hot this summer, so more or less what that means for me is I get up early in the morning, I knock out my chores, I work out or I work out, then I knock out my chores, come home, do what I can. And usually by 11 or 12 o'clock, it's a little too hot for me to be doing too much out here. So, which isn't bad. I, you know, I'll take the rest of the day to chill out and not really do a whole lot. I'm over here feeding him treats. I'm trying to trying to get Queen Bee over here to Mika. So Mika has been a pretty hard catch for me. Oh, there she goes. She, she's been a pretty hard catch out in open pasture. Um, she is broke. It's just a matter of me having to catch her. So anyone who owns a horse knows how frustrating it is to work with the horse. Um, but at the same time, it's pretty awesome. So my short-term plan is to get her back to where I can ride on her again. Because she really isn't a big horse. She's only 14.2 hands. So she'd be a good horse either for me to ride if I had a guest. Because uh, Rocco, who's over there in the barn, he's really broke. And then eventually I have to work on this guy right here and get him get his balls cut it'll off. save me from having to buy another horse because if anybody knows how horse math horse math works i really have only i only have one horse <laughs> and not and not three so get out of here boy good girl yeah so so yeah that's what i'm talking about with the uh, with mares uh, now my other one he he wouldn't do that he'll come over and and uh, hang out so it's just it's something i've been working on just kind of a project 
um, ever since I got I got him, I've I've never um, messed with her much. So she's gotten used to being untouched for like the last year and a half, and it's only been recently I've wanted to actually start working with her now that I've got him. So we have been on a few trail rides this summer. Uh, me and him went on a pretty long one on my birthday that lasted about nine miles or whatever. Mostly his fault because he wanted to go a different, a different way on the way back. But uh, that's pretty much that as far as the horses go. I, I think he knows, he knows I got treats. So. Good boy, huh? So even though I haven't posted in a while, again, I thought about just about giving up on the channel because uh, I really didn't know which direction I wanted to go, whether I talk about farming slash homesteading, horsemanship or politics or self-improvement or whatever, you know, um, I did. I have been digging into a little bit with how to build a channel and things like that. And um, instead of keeping myself up worrying about subscribers and all that stuff, you know, I just felt that originally I wanted to do this just to put my story out there and just talk about what's on my mind. So um, here I am. Uh, a few people that I've subscribed to posting again so that really kind of inspired me to get back at it so uh that's that i did buy another camera to do some vlogging with i bought a canon t6i which i'm not using right now i'm using my iphone but what i'm waiting on getting is a um is a a, a mic so i don't have to worry about bad audio but i just wanted to put this out there just a quick update about what i got going on so y'all have a good day like comment subscribe